Hello everybody! Welcome and thank you for your interest in our CDEM steering and suspension products. My name is Harold and I have more than 15 years of experience as a mechanic. Today I will show you how to correctly replace a silent block. If a silent block is not installed correctly, the road holding performance of the car will be reduced. The car will not react as it should in case of sudden extreme steering movements. The vibrations caused by road bumps will also be less absorbed and will be passed on to the driver, which has a major impact on driving comfort. Some examples of silent blocks are the most common standard type silent block, the eccentric silent block, where the inside bush is not 100% central in the rubber piece, and the hydraulic silent block. For each of these types, correct installation is key. On this track control arm, we see a silent block that was not correctly installed. The wheel movements are not sufficiently absorbed and are almost immediately passed on to the chassis. On the other side, we see a silent block that was mounted correctly. As we can see, the movements of the wheel are absorbed by the silent block. For a correct installation, here are a number of things you should pay attention to. 1. Make sure to have the right tools. If the tool is too small, the pressure will completely or partially be applied onto the rubber and onto the metal housing. This will cause deformation of the metal and in case of a hydraulic silent block, the fluid will run out. If the tool is too large, the pressure goes onto the outside of the metal housing and will cause it to deform. Measure the silent block to determine which should be the diameter of the tool. Now select and use the correct tool. Voilà, these are past perfect. Two, choose high quality silent blocks. In order to find the proper silent block, let's have a look at CDEM's online catalog. As we can see, CDEM already offers the right tool to correctly replace the silent blocks. 3. Determine the right direction to push out. The deformation of the housing material shows us that the silent block was pushed in this way. Push out the silent block in the direction opposite to the one it was pushed in. 4. Determine the correct position to install the silent block. On the old track control arm, measure the distance between the top of the silent block and the housing. Now mark that exact same distance on the new silent block. 5. Make sure that the opening in the track control arm is completely cleared. Use a file to remove the metal edges that have formed on the inside. This will prevent the silent block from getting stuck on the small surfaces of those edges. 6. Make sure the silent block is lubricated. A little oil can also contribute to facilitate the installation. These tips will allow you to correctly and easily push the silent block into the track control arm. The only thing left to do now is to reinstall the track control arm on the car. For more information, visit the CDEM website www.cdem.eu. Thanks for watching and see you next time.